In the previous video, I showed you um, something like this. x to the power of 3, y to the power, let's say, 5, z to the power of uh, 2, say. And then you, you power this to, um, to the power of, let's say, 4. Well, here, to, to do this, you would just get this times this. So that would be x to the power of 12. And then uh, y, and then, well, you would get this times this here, which would be y to the power of uh, 20. And then, and then this times this here would be uh, z to the power of 8. Okay, so, so this whole thing here becomes this. Now, if, if you get given something like this, um, x uh, to the power of 5, uh, y to the power of minus, let's say, 8, it, 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 who cares? It still works, even if it's um, even if it's to the power of a minus thing. So um, so so this thing here. Oh, by by the way, what's in here is actually you could visualize it as this: uh, x to the power of five, okay, times uh, times one over y to the power of eight, okay. So so the minute you see because what you've got here at the moment is this times this. And then just visualize this. Whenever you see to the power of a minus something, then, then you have to visualize. Well, you could visualize it like this. So, so this, this whole thing here is actually, um, you could actually visualize it like this. Uh, x to the power of 5 over y to the power of 8. So this is the same as this. Okay. Let, let, let me uh, write that down again neatly. Hang on. Uh, x to the power of 5, uh, y to the power of minus 8. And then we're, we're going to power it to do three. So, well that, what, well, again, what I'm trying to say is that who cares if it's a minus eight? You can, it will still work. So, so now it's this times this thing here. So this thing here equals, um, x to the power of, uh, well, three times five. So that would be 15. Uh, and then, and then y, well, three times minus eight. That would be minus, um, minus 20. Uh, 24. Okay, so you could visualize. Well, at the moment, you you you've got this times this thing here. Now visualize this thing as one over y to the power of 24. Because the minute you see to the power to the power of a minus number, then then you you can visualize it as this. Now this box here is uh, x to the power of x to the power of 15. So now it's it's just this times a fraction. When you times a fraction, it gets multiplied to the top. So it equals this, x to the power of 15 over a y to the power of 24. Okay, so this would be your, your answer. Um, uh, earlier, I, um, I said that the, the minute you see this, you could visualize it as this, uh, 5 over y to the power of 8. You could do that. And, and, then, and then when you come to the power it to the uh, to the three it means you you get this fraction times by itself three times so um so it would be this here hang on uh it would be x to the power of five uh over eight here times x to the power of five over y to the eight times well what i'm trying to say here is that um that there are several ways of visualizing this okay you could get this times this and then and then get this times this, um, or you could, or you could convert this thing into a fraction, like what, we, what we've done here. And then top times top times top. Well, that equals x to the power of 15. And then bottom times bottom times bottom. Y to the power of 24. You see, this is exactly the same as our previous answer, which which was this here. My, my point is that when 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 you get given something like this, x to the power of five y to the power of minus 8, and then let's say to the power of 3, you, you could convert this into a fraction, so it's like this, over y to the 8, and then and then power it, maybe power it uh, 3 times, is that, this is to the power of 3, all right, uh, power it to, to, uh, to the 3, or you, you, you could just leave it as, as it is, so, or, or you could just leave it as um, x to the power of 5, y to the 8, uh, y to the minus 8, uh, and then 3. Um, you could just leave it as, uh, as one line here, and then rather than turning it into a fraction, and then, uh, and, then, and then do this, this times this. Okay? Uh, leaving it as one line is much better than turning it into a fraction.
Okay, so um, let me give you some examples here. Okay, this one here. Um, now, now you've got a uh, a fraction, and then you're gonna you you you're going to power it. Um, the thing is, turn this fraction into one line. So, for example, visualize visualize what's in here as as uh, as x to the power three times times one over y to the five. Because when you times a fraction, it gets multiplied to the top. So my point is, visualize this as as this thing here. So hang on, I'm going to rewrite what's inside the brackets here as as um, x to the power of three uh, times times y to the power of minus five. Okay, and then and then to the power of four. Um, you are allowed to do this because what I'm trying to say is visualize this thing here as uh, as x to the power of three. And then you're timesing uh, one over uh, five. That's what you're doing. Well, one over five, you can write as uh, a y to the power of minus five. Well, anyway, when, when when you have a fraction here, try to turn it into one line. Once it's in one line, once it's on one line, then you can just do this. So basically, this becomes x to the power of twelve uh, times y to the power of get this times this minus twenty. Okay. The minute you see a minus, you've got to visualize it as well. This thing here is uh, uh, is this x to the power of twelve. Okay, and we're, we're we're timesing it by uh, by one over y to the power of twenty. Okay, because that's that's what it means. X um, y to the power of minus a number. Well, minus um, well, you turn into a fraction. Okay, so uh, so once once you're here, it gets multiplied to the top. So it would be 12, uh, x to the power of 12 over y to the power of 20. So this here is your answer. Okay, let me give you another complicated example. Okay, here, um, uh, try to work out what's in here first. Okay, so let's, let's try and do that. Um, so, so here it would be, uh, well, whatever this number is, times it with, with this one here. So, uh, well, I'm just trying to work out what's inside the square brackets first. Okay, so it would be minus a half times six. So it would be x. Well, minus a half times six. So here we've got six and we've got to times, well, let's just times a half for the time being and then we'll deal with the sign later. Uh, six times a half, so that would be uh, six over two. And then don't forget our minus. Uh, so here our minus here. So the overall the overall answer is minus six over two. Well, six over two is is three. So this one here will be minus three. Overall, well, just get six times minus a half. That would be minus three. Okay. And now deal deal with the y. Uh, you've got to get minus a half times minus four. Minus a minus a minus. That would be a positive. The the power. Well, it's going to be a positive. Um, it would be a positive two. Okay, so so what I'm trying to say is uh, minus four times minus two will be will be uh, a positive two. Okay, and then we've got to power to the eight. Uh, well, power this. Okay, so so now get this times this thing here. So that would be x to the power of um, minus twenty four, and then and then this times this thing here would be y to the power of sixteen. Okay. Now visualize this as as one over x to the power of twenty four, and then we've got to times it with y to the sixteen. Okay. So at the moment you've got this, which in fact is this, and this is this. So so well you're timesing a fraction, so multiply it to the top. So it would be uh, y over sixteen over x to the twenty four. So so this would be your answer to. Uh, to this. Okay?